Today we're looking at the legendary pedal, the bass whammy. Let's check it out. <laughs> Hi lovely people of the internet, welcome to Bass the World. My name is Kegel Fries and today I'm accompanied by Mr. Bassface himself, legendary German bass player Frank It. And this is the Digitech Bass by me, an amazing pitch shifting pedal with some interesting extra features that I didn't expect but very much enjoy. In this first sound we combined it with the Orange Bass Butler, one of my absolute favorite high gain pedals. Whammies are often used in combination with distortion but now let's hear it on its own with a clean bass. <laughs> The bass by me is different to most other pitch shifting pedals. First of all, it's made for bass, that means it works well in all autonal ranges. But the coolest thing is uh, the expression pedal that allows it to sweep through all pitches from point A to point B. Let's hear it in the so called dive bomb setting, simulating the excessive use of a Floyd Rose tremolo. <laughs> The pedal comes in a solid metal housing. On the right we have a bass input and a MIDI plug that allows us to integrate this in a bigger setup and switch settings from an external MIDI controller. On the left sits the output jack and a 9 volt power in that requires 1300 milliamps. The pedal is shipped with a power supply but I had no issues using it with one of the 500 milliamps outputs of my Stroyman Suma. I don't want to recommend using it like this but apparently it works. Uh, don't sue me if it doesn't. The pedal layout is very easy to understand. We have our expression pedal to control the pitch, a foot switch to engage the whole thing, one control to select a setting and finally a little switch to choose between the classic and the chords mode. Classic is meant to use for single note playing, chords is obviously for chords. Did you know the bass by me has also two modulation sounds built in? I didn't. Digitech course team the detune modes and now let's hear the second one called Deep. I like this a lot. What a pleasure to find something like this in a pedal that I otherwise mostly associate with metal players. But now let's go back to the typical whammy settings. The modes are grouped in two categories, whammy on the right and harmony on the left. On the whammy side the pedal always starts with your normal root note at the bottom and then goes to the selected interval. The easiest way to use the whammy is to choose one of the octaves. There's one below, one up or even two up if you want to go even higher. But there's also seconds, fourths and fifths, each above and below your root note. Once we go to the harmony side things get more complex. Here you don't only decide the interval the expression pedal arrives at when it's all the way up but also another one that you get when the expression pedal is in its standard position. But you don't have to use it like this at all, you can also completely ignore this side of the pedal and use this side to create some chords. <laughs> I always knew the whammy is a cool pedal but getting hands on with it gave me a whole new appreciation for this very unique bass effect. And how do you like it? What would you do with one of those? Please let me know in the comments. And before we go let's hear the other detune sound called Shallow. <laughs> I 
I love everything about this and I hope this video inspires some of you to get one so we'll get to hear this more often in all kinds of music styles. And that's it from me. If you enjoyed watching this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing to this channel so you don't miss out on future Base the World releases. Bye bye. Base the World.